They are visionaries. They are irrepressible creatures of the world. They are passionate and compassionate soul winners and excellent growers of the church. Anything that I do, my aim is to please God. As a result of that, I tried not to fear anybody. The faith that I had held on to, I'm not going to cheat. I will hold on to it mm. till the very end. Mm. We must pray sincerely that Jesus should increase while we decrease. It is for Christians to celebrate the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And that cavalry is a point of victory for us. They are our retired and highly reverend primates, archbishops and bishops of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Even though they are out of office, their good words speak loudly and eloquently for them. Reminences aim to celebrate the lives, times and works of these legends whose impacts are evident in the phenomenal growth of the church across Nigeria, Africa and the rest of the world. Welcome to Reminences, celebrating our icons, connecting with our past. Good day viewers and you're welcome to Reminiscence, a program of the ACNN TV which is aimed at celebrating the lives, the times and the works of the legends of the Anglican Communion Church of Nigeria, whose impacts are evident in the phenomenal growth of the church across the country, the continent, and the world at large. My name is Bola Gunyowo, and I welcome you to this program today. With me here today is Ababa, the first and the pioneering bishop of the Diocese of Omaha, Right Reverend Philip Adeyemo. Baba, we welcome you, sir. Thank you. And thank you for finding out time to be with us on this program today. So viewers, we'll be going on a very deep, exclusive interview with Baba. Stay tuned and let us do this together. Now streaming, now analyzing, now assessing, now discussing, now sharing your thoughts on everything and every issue that affects you. ACNN is now streaming, discusses the issues trending and the matters that matter to us all. Join us every Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. on ACNN as we go in-depth into every issue that impacts our lives, our communities, and our country. Baba, welcome once again, sir. Thank you. And uh, we thank you so much for being part of this program. Baba, can you please lead us a little into your life, your uh, baths, your schooling, uh, everything that has to do with you, and uh, if there's any information you want to tell us more, we need to know this time, sir. I'm Philip Adebayo, born into the family of Pa Elijah Adio Adeyemi and Princess Rachel Matolani Adeyemi, both of blessed memory. I thank God my mother died when I was six years old. Mm. My father brought me up mm. and the Lord used him. He cared for me and did everything to make sure became something in life. Mm. Thank you, Baba. That's a very touching one. You lost your mom when you were six years old. And I want to say that you really enjoy father care. Yes. <laughs> well, thank God, sir. At what point, actually, did you receive Christ into your life? Uh, thank you very much. In 1976, when I was at School of Basic Study, Quora State College of Technology, now, Kwara Poli, who mm. we love. Mm. I received Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior in 1976. Wow, that's a very long time, 1976. That's about 46 years, 46 years now. That's a long time. And I'm sure the Lord has been faithful to you all the time. Faithful. Yes. Uh, now, talking about school, you say you, got, you received Christ when you were in school. Yes. Can you please tell us a little more about your educational background? When you started school, how school life was, primary. I, I went to St. Matthias and the School for Primary Education. Then 
later on to early secondary school, mm. and later on to school of basic studies, mm. Gwara College of Technology, and then later on to University of Ilori. Mm. Ilori. Wow. So I did everything within Kwara State. You really tried. <laughs> Maybe your daddy doesn't want you to go out of his uh, hey, zone and read hey, my, my father died in 1983. Wow. Mm. So, and uh, what I did, the Lord helped me because I had to work to train myself. Mm. Mm. That's a lot. That's a lot. We well, thank God for your life, sir. Now, talking about that, you are a retired bishop. And at what point did you deem it fit? Considering your education background, at what point did you deem it fit to become a priest? I was in a Pentecostal church. When the Lord told me, mm to go back to Anglican Church. So you had the voice of God to come back to Anglican to Church? To come back to Anglican Church. Mm. That is where he has assignment for me. Oh, wow. And uh, I obeyed God, and I came back in 1985 mm. to Anglican Church. Mm. And where I joined the Evangelical Armed Okwara Diocese. Mm. They had the Lord called us mm. to the ordained ministry. Mm. Mm. Wow. 1985, just like two years after you finished school. Because, there is, okay, after you lost your dad, you lost your dad in 1983. So, two years after you came back to the church. Wow, that's a very wonderful one. We know that you have life experiences, work, uh, possibly some other places that you might have worked before you joined the ministry. Can you tell us a little about them? Uh, oh, thank God, I joined the Gateway Insurance Company, owned mm. by Quara State Government mm. in the year 1982 mm. as assistant underwriter. Mm. And with the, with the help of God, mm. I rose through the ranks and files of the company. Mm to become mm. a top member of the management mm. as controller market. So you go my tell us can you just give us a short story how you met Mama and how you approached her and tell her that consider your level of spirituality there. Yes. <laughs> she was also very spiritual. Very spiritual and very loving. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. So when the Lord told me when the Lord led me to her, mm. I approached her. And uh, she did not agree. Oh, she didn't agree? Uh, until almost one year oh, before wow. she agreed. Oh, wow. To marry. And you, have one, you had wonderful children together. We have wonderful children. Oh, praise God. Sir. And God has blessed all of them. Praise God, praise God. May the Lord continue to increase them. Amen. And that they will fulfill their days Amen. in Jesus' name. When you became the bishop, I just, how, how was it feeling like? The Lord saw us through. Mm. People called me to congratulate, but I did not believe. Mm. Because there was no evidence to prove mm. that I've been elected as a bishop. But when my own bishop, now the, the most reverend, Dr. Olusebu, mm. and they hear me retire, mm. gave me the, yes. the, the primary letter, wow. the election letter. Mm. We were surprised. Mm. My wife and I were surprised. Wow. And then we went to God. Mm. Because it was the doings of the Lord. Mm. Praise God, sir. Then you became the bishop, you were consecrated. Tell us your experience in the years you were as Bishop Baba. 
Uh, you being the pioneering bishop, the first bishop of the diocese, how insurmountable will it have been? The beginning of my episcopacy in Omana diocese mm. was rough. Mm. My family and I suffered seriously. Mm. Because the people did not prepare mm. for the diocese financially. Mm. And to crown it all, Omara Diocese was the only diocese that was inaugurated mm. as a missionary diocese without a sponsor. Mm. I can imagine how difficult I asked him. And not only that, nine churches, or may I say nine handicapped churches, mm. two Idikins, nine priests, and one evangelist. In total, making a, a 12 priests. Who are handed over to us with outstanding salary of 1.4 million mm. naira. I said that year, I can imagine how big that you amount was. That. So you, you can see the situation. Mm. Mm. It wasn't mm. easy. Mm. But you are but the Lord saw you. The Lord saw you through. Yes. He saw you. He heard us. The Lord saw you through. Because uh, we have to mm. introduce Bible study, because from the, if you see, if you look at that one, handicapped churches, outstanding, outstanding allowances, allowances, okay? So there, there was a spiritual challenge. Mm -hmm. There was, and the population of the diocese by then was 1,045. Wow. So it means there was a, no, a no numerical strength. Strength, yes. And then with the outstanding, there, there was a financial challenge. Challenge, yes. So how do we tackle this? We look at them that what to, to get solution to spiritual problem, to get solution to low numerical strength, and to get solution to financial problem, what do we do? We need the word of God. Yes. yes. And we need prayer. Mm -hmm. And to achieve that, mm -hmm. we started with compulsory Bible study for all the parishes. Mm -hmm. We made it compulsory. Mm -hmm. And we introduced uh, own self Bible study in Umwara mm -hmm. in 15 places. And then we introduced a light Bible study also. Mm. And those things will not be achieved without prayer. Mm. So we have to compare the clergy six days in a month were dedicated for which mm. for clergy. Six to, days in a month. In a month mm. for clergy. Because to get solution to our problems, it's only God that can help us. Yeah, yes. And then we, for the members, workers are the one day in a month, Fiji. Youth had one day in a month for Fiji. And then all the members throughout the diocese had one day. We call it diocesan Fiji. That one was led by me. Even the, the Bible study, I prepared it. Mm. Because if we don't give our priests what they will teach, they will go out to oh, teach the wrong thing. Yes. So I prepared the Bible study. I gave it to them. I gave them to them. Mm. And then, I and then we, we organized other programs. programs like yes. uh, begin the month with the Lord, the pledge. Let that one, the end the month with the Lord, I, I, I let that one. Mm. 
and uh, the seven hours in his presence in October, in October. Mm. Mm. for the people also to know what they are doing. Yes, yes. And at the end of the year, for our people to move to the next level in the year, we organize what we call Restoration Prayer Conference. Mm. Oh, and uh, to start the year, we organize what we call Covenant Sunday for the people to enter into covenant with God. With God. And all this actually help us mm. Mm. to make it. Because the, the population later rose to 5,311 uh, mm. before I retired. Retire. Mm. From 1,045 to 5,311. Mm. That is what we call aggressive evangelism, <laughs> <laughs> both inside and outside. And we are able to establish, okay, when we talk about achievement, <laughs> we thank God for your life, sir. <laughs> the Lord really used you for the diocese, and today the diocese is doing well. It's doing well. It's doing well. Because mm -hmm. of the foundational work that the Lord helped you to do. Baba, we learned that some of our bishops had the opportunity to train under Baba Obon Yomi, Baba Deti Loye, and Ondu Fosoye. Were you opportune to work under them or work with any of these great men? I thank God for the line of Baba Obon Yomi, Baba Deti Loye, and Baba Ondu Fosoye. God used them for church of Nigeria. But as for me, I did not have opportunity mm. of working mm. with them. Mm. Papa, let me ask her, during your uh, tenure as a bishop, maybe you can be able to tell how many ordinations you had, how many confirmations you had, and was there a time in between these ordinations and confirmations that you had any particular significant experience? Ordination. Uh, I had, um, as the Lord led us, I had 12 ordinations mm -hmm. with 30 ordinances. Mm -hmm. So the priest, if that's what I started with 12 priests, now graduating to having. 30 more dead yes. during your tenure. Yes. The Lord really used you. Well. But some of them could take cope. Mm. 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 Why? The finances were not there? No, 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 no. What? They were lazy. Mm. Some of them were lazy. Some of them were fraudulent. Oh. And some of them did not have God. Hmm. And uh, look at the programs we established. Mm -hmm. If one is not called, he will not be able to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a lot, Baba. They are lazy, they are fraudulent, and they were not called. And uh, so you let them go? We let them go. To other places they wish to so go? They, we let them go to where they can. You sign letter of release for them. Wow. That's it. We well, thank God for your life, Baba. During synod, how many synod were you able to have? Okay. As I said earlier, Omaha Dowsis was inaugurated as a missionary dowsis. That's the support. And the, the constitution of Church of Nigeria says. Any national diocese must do three councils before a diocese can become a full fledged. Mm -hmm. So we had three council meetings and nine synods. Oh, three council meetings and nine synods. Any particular year that the synod was exceptional? 
as the Lord helped us. Mm. So all the synod years were so exceptional. We thank God, sir. We thank God. Vegas, we thank you so much for your time and uh, for staying with us. I present to you, Ababa, Patrick and Philip Adeyemo, retired. Baba, thank you so very much, sir. Like our people will say, Ajinde Arama Jero. And so, viewers, please stay tuned as we continue with Baba in this exclusive deep interview. Thank you for your time. You can't deceive God. Hmm. None of us can deceive God. Nobody can actually become a leader if God has not ordained it. Mm -hmm. What is the right knowledge? The right knowledge is scripture. Yes, sir. Because the Bible is light years ahead of science. But I usually will ask God, how do I explain this the thing spirit. in a way that people will understand? Hmm. The Spirit of God can anoint you to teach, can anoint you to preach, can anoint you for business, business. can anoint you in politics. The scripture speaking, Psalm chapter 107 verse 20. He sent forth his word and healed them and delivered them from every of their destruction. We are trusting the Lord that as we discuss his word this day, God will deliver us from every form of ignorance, every form of destruction, and grant us grace to walk even in the path of wisdom. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Thank you viewers for staying tuned and you're welcome back to Reminiscence, the program of the ACNN TV that is aimed at celebrating the lives, the times and the work of legends of the Anglican Communion Church of Nigeria that called across the country, the continent and the world at large. So I'm, I still remember your host, Bola Ognyo. And stay with me here is Baba, the first and pioneering bishop of the Diocese of Omaro, Right Reverend Philip Adeye Morita. Baba, welcome, sir. Thank you. So please, viewers, stay tuned as we do this together. Baba, you said something about priests that you ordained. Some of them were lazy, some of them were fraudulent, and some of them were actually not called. But I think some of this trait you mentioned, I see some of the traits we see around some of our priests even till now. How do you think the church can deal with this? We can go. The judge can deal with it one through the bishop. Mm -hmm. We have to identify whether they are called or not. Mm -hmm. We don't just send people to seminaries without a call. Mm -hmm. It will backfire. Mm -hmm. If they are not called mm. and we send them to seminary school, exactly, definitely it will backfire. Mm. Mm. We have to look at that one first. Mm. So, um, which means we have to go back to the basics. Yes, we have to go to, to the root, to the root, to the foundation, to the foundation, to make sure that we are ordaining the right people, mm. not just for ordaining the sake. We go down to this route. Are they called? If they are called, are they ready to obey God? If they are ready to obey God, are they ready to move at God's standard? Mm. All this has to be tackled. Yes, yes. So it's not just about somebody just showing up for ordination. No, 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 no. Showing up that I want to go to seminary. No, 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 no. no. The person really has to be investigated be and be sure that he had the call, which is very important. Will you say anything about the process to get a student to seminary? Is the process okay? Or the church need to do something better about the process? Because as it is right now, the seminaries have been put together. Uh, let our people that are there now mm. do that. Mm. We have told them what we needed when we were mm. in active service. Yes. And I know they are working they are seriously. Working seriously. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Baba. How were you able to ask? Well, let me ask that. You were married with Mama, former with Mama, for several years. 
how are you able to cope with the ministry and the family? Because I heard that the, the bishop travels a lot. Thank you very much. If you could recollect, I joined the evangelical arm mm -hmm. of Quara Daos, evangelical arm. Um, yes. And I came from Pentecostal yes. Church. <laughs> Outreach or outreaches were part of us. Mm -hmm. Since you met her there. Since we work together mm -hmm. and it, it was not difficult for her and for the children so whenever a child mm -hmm. it wasn't difficult at all because she, she she was used to prayer she was used to counseling mm -hmm. in fact we read the guardian of counseling oh, wow beautiful so <laughs> she was like complimenting <laughs> the ministry so we thank god for her life I would trust God that my is fine. Yes, she's fine. She's fine. She's and fine. She's aware you're with us. Yeah, yeah. she's fine. 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 She's I know I'm not supposed to ask, but no, 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 no problem. That's since you want to know, I will tell you. Whenever I wanted to do prepare transfer, I always considered two things: the need mm. Mm. and the performance. Mm. If there's a need, who can perform in that area? Mm. Who can do the work better? Mm. Who can take the, the church to the higher, to the higher level? Mm. Uh, so the need and the performance. So which means you knew your priest one by one? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because that's the only way you can know who to perform. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I, so knew, I knew all of them. Because we work together mm -hmm. during prayer meeting, during Bible study, even our, 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 our bishop, I let them teach you. Mm -hmm. Every Sunday, I taught my people every Sunday mm -hmm. the word of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the Bible study, the Eli Bible study, the priests were included. Mm -hmm. So I knew all of them. I knew what they can do and what they could not. So it was a situation of a ramp peg in a ramp hole. Mm -hmm. that, that is what we need. So that is for transfer. Then for preferment. I consider what? Frequency. Mm. Two. Productivity. Mm. Number three. Faithfulness. Mm. And for commitment. These are a lot of things, Baba. These are a lot of things. But we've had stories, Baba, where some priests don't feel satisfied with some postings. Do you have any of that kind of priests under you? As far as I'm concerned, God help us. Mm. As I told you, any priest that was not comfortable. Yes, you let them go. Let them go. Thank you, Baba. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Baba, in your life and ministry and work experience, what was the best thing that ever happened to you? The best that I happened to me. We know, we know you have several bests in life. Yes, one of those several bests. The day way. I accepted Jesus Christ, oh, as my Lord, I was I was actually expecting that. <laughs> and the day I retired, thank God, I started very well, and, and you I, ended well. I ended very well. Mm -hmm. So, praise God, sir. Any regret at all, Baba? Uh, I have no regret at all. Mm. I have no regret. At Possibly, all. if you could, if you could turn back the hand of time. If there's any particular thing you would love to change. 
as, as we did, the Almighty God help us. Mm. I did not do anything without consulting God. Mm. Because I'm not the owner of the work. Mm. Jesus Christ, the head of the church. Mm. And before I did anything, Father, what do I have to say? Mm. And I know God cannot make mistakes. Mm. Mm. You can remind me. Praise God, sir. On that, Baba, there was a story recently trending that of a Catholic, Roman Catholic bishop that rejected 25 million uh, for considering the diocese you retired from and considering the level of how much relevance has been placed on finances in church these days. What advice can you possibly give Baba? We should allow the Holy Spirit to guide us and to lead us. Mm. We, we, we should not just take money for taking sake. Mm. Christ is the owner of the church. Mm. He's able to finance his church. Mm. He's an heir shall die. Mm. God that is more than enough. enough. And when you look unto him, he's able to meet him. our needs. He is the one that helps us. He is the one that saw us through. Mm. Is the one that blessed us, mm. and then we we we, we had no regrets mm. Mm. whatsoever. Mm. Anybody with Christ is in the majority. In the majority. Thank you, Baba. Because these days, Baba, thank you for your thank God for your time when you are a leader of this church. And I personally had a few times to listen to your messages on our TV channel, and. I will say sincerely, I was blessed with some of those messages during the time where you take Bible study and you want to see your synod and all that. But these days now, we seem to be seeing things different from how it operated in the past. In fact, Christianity these days now seems to be more lackadaisical, if I put it that way, compared to when you are a bishop. People doesn't seem to want to be faithful so much any longer. Even priests, and sometimes even uh, some of our daddies, about you being a retired bishop and seeing this thing happening, what has been your thought? As for me, as the Lord lives, I don't criticize. Mm. Mm. I don't criticize anybody. Whatever God asks you to do, to it. On your mind. So, I cannot say this A is doing the right thing, this A is doing the B, because there is no specific area you have mentioned. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't want to dabble into another one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Baba. You talked about Pentecostalism, and you left Pentecostalism to come to Anglican Church. Will you say Anglican Church? was not or is not Pentecostal, or that Anglican Church is just Orthodox? Yeah. Anglican Church is evangelical. Mm. <laughs> uh, if it's evangelical, it's Pentecostal. Definitely it's Pentecostal. <laughs> so, and uh, people get baptism of the Holy Spirit in Anglican Church. Yes. People get miracles in Anglican church. Mm. People get deliverance in Anglican church. So, Anglican church is Pentecostal. Mm. Because you had a Pentecostal background and you have you had a Pentecostal background. Yeah. So, we obviously, it helped you <laughs> when you became the bishop. No wonder for the radical transformation that the Lord brought under you. Uh, considering your area, Mama, did you, did you have any event of uh, Boko Haram, a killing or from the ex men or non men during your time? During our time, there was nothing like that because, you know, the issue of Boko Haram mm. multiplied. Yes. After 2015, though there were Boko Haram and Fulani Bandit before. Yes. But not prominent mm. as it is it's today. Now. Yes. So you never had that experience? No, 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 no. Mm. Not at all. 
We were at Yoruba land. Yeah, <laughs> we were true. But considering those churches, when you came in as a bishop, those not capable churches, how did the Lord use you to bring them out of the situation then? As I said, number one thing I did when I became a bishop, I went to local government to ask for the population. Omar Award was the population as at 1997 when the, the last census took place. What was the population of this place? What was the population of this place? I got the population. Okay. The population of Umarawa by then was 40,000 as at 19 for, uh, 1997. Mm -hmm. So if we had 40,000 people, then we should be able to get 1,000 people mm -hmm. from them. From them, yes. So where we have 500 people, we should be able to get at least yes. 100. So that one gave us the background for the for the evangelical work. Mm. And then from there, we started evangelism. We started follow-up and Bible study and the prayers. Mm. And from there, Please the church changed. Change. Mm. And that is why we were able to have 5,311 uh, when you are, you are, so I love the way you are, I love your accuracy on the number. Like you're so sure, 5,311, very accurate. Inclusive of children? Including children, oh, wow. including distant members. Oh wow, your, your, your calculative level is very high. Wow. Even at this age, you still pick the number as at then. Thank you so very much. Now, talking of, you going to the local government to get the number. Were, were there any other denominations? Many. <laughs> Believe me, faith work. Were they, are, were they having the same issue that you had in communicational matters? No, I, I didn't know what their problem was. was. Okay. I faced my own. <laughs> the Church of Nigeria sent me there as a legal priest. Yeah. So, you my, left I, I, my assignment is how my people will move forward. Were you a member of Khan? Yes, we were a member. Were you at any time the chairman of Khan? No, 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 I was not. You didn't take but, it to uh, a member? No, 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 but uh, one of my priests was okay. a chairman. A chairman, okay, okay, okay. So, so tell us, sir, what is your take on this incessant killing in the country? It's really getting out of hand. What do you wish the country would, would do or the leadership would do? The unknown government, the bandits, the Fulani ex men, the Boko Haram, the kidnapping. It's really becoming a thing right like now. What can you say about it? What I will say it is the result of bad leadership. Mm. We miss it. Yes. Because we voted for. We care for bad and wicked people. Mm -hmm. And Proverbs 29, verse 2 says, When the righteous are in authority, mm -hmm. people rejoice. Yes. But when the wicked be a rule, mm -hmm. the people more at that situation mm -hmm. we are in now. Mm -hmm. Wicked leadership. Wicked. Mm. And the only thing we can do, we should pray and open our eyes wide mm. and fight for the right people mm. in 2023. Mm. We have made a mistake, we have made a mistake. Mm. That takes us to politics, the recent one now. Three major candidates, Baba. <laughs> I'm not a politician. <laughs> I'm not a politician. But this we have members that are politicians. <laughs> so because the way as it is right now, the politics is getting taken down and it's getting eaten up on a daily basis. And our youth are gradually are beginning to come out. Yes. They are beginning to learn that they need to get their PBC to vote. About what can you advise her? 
my advice to our youth concerning 2023 election, they should open their eyes wide. Mm -hmm. Two, they should do the needful. Mm -hmm. Three, they should make sure that they vote for people who have the mind of Nigeria mm. at their heart. Mm. Not looters, mm. not thieves. Mm. They should not collect money. Mm. They should not sell their future. Mm. They should not mortgage their future. The future mm. is very, very important. Very, very important. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. Another trending matter is the recent Lambert development of the Article 110. You are part of the church, even though you are still part of the church now for the time. You were part of the church when the, the, the fire was really burning about homosexuality, when the debate was on, when it was really given a light, when everybody was talking about homosexuality, gayism, lesbianism, everybody, everybody just wants to become. And in the light of that, the church, I would say the church got lost. The Anglican Church of England went their way, the Church of Nigeria went their way, but still the mother persisted, the mother continued. But well, now, Article 110 of the same homosexuality has been revisited. And now it's been put under debate again and been revisited again by the Church of England, Church of Nigeria, and a few other Anglican communion in the world. Baba, here that we find ourselves as an Anglican church, what do you think, lending your voice to the voice of the elders? Are? Is there any particular thing we need to do now as a Church of Nigeria that could be different from our stand? Yes, we know we have a stand. And that gave room to the Jerusalem uh, the Gafcon uh, Declaration, the Jerusalem Declaration of 2008. Adding to that, Baba, what can you say, sir? Same sex marriage is an aberration mm. and unscriptural. Mm. We should not encourage it at all mm. because God hates it. My advice mm. is in line. If we have Bible here, mm. Galatians chapter 6, verses 1 and 2, I read. Say, brethren, mm -hmm. if a man is overtaken in any trespass, yes. You who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. Yes. Considering yourself least, you also be tempted. Yes. Bear one another's bodies, and so fulfill the law of Christ. That's what one. one so we need to one correct them in love. In love. We need to pray for them. Mm. We need to preach to them. To them. Mm. We need to teach them. Mm. And we need to make sure that they undergo deliverance mm. from the power of darkness. Of darkness. Mm. Mm. Because Satan is at work. Mm. Mm. So even the correction, correction we're doing, we should do it out of love. We should do it in love. In love. In love. In love is very, very important. In humility, in love mm. is very much. He says, Bear ye one another's body mm. and so fulfill the love of Christ. Christ. And what is the love of Christ? Love. 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 So if we are correcting them and we are not correcting them, love, it, may, it will not yield good result. If we correct them and we don't pray for them, it will not yield any result. Any result. Let the youth gather together to pray for them. Mm. Let the elders come together to pray for them. Let the bishop come together to pray for them. Pray for them. They have missed it. Mm. We need to bring them back. back. Yes, yes, yes. And it's only our prayers that can bring, can bring them back. Thank you, Baba. Well, Baba, let me a little light up. This uh, same-sex marriage, it has also catapulted higher to a level where we have the transgender. 
Some people that were born female felt they are not supposed to be female and are supposed to be male. So they are not changing themselves to a man. And some that are born man feel they are not supposed to be man and they are not changing themselves to be woman. And some of the Anglican churches around the world are welcoming them. And we can see them all around the world. About what is it? Do they still follow that the same category of correction? They still follow that the same category. We are in end time, mm. perilous time. Yes. God, our God has already predicted this mm. that it will happen. Mm. Perilous time will come. Mm. Because they are lover of themselves. And they want to do their own way mm. according to their own flesh, mm. not according to the scripture. Mm. Mm. The Lord help us, Baba, because it's really becoming a thing that mm. we, we, we who have seen the light mm. should pray more, mm. evangelize more, mm. preach more. Mm. It's very important. Very, very important. Very important. Thank you, Baba. But what advice can you give to priests that are still in active service? I pray to them. One, they should be serious with Christ. Serious with Christ. They should be committed to the work given to them. Mm. They should not love money. Mm. The love of money is the root of evil. There's no love of money. Mm. And they should study the word of God to get themselves approved. Mm. It's very, very important. important. They should meditate mm. on the word of God. Mm. And they should make sure those under them are kept according to to God's love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. You are a retired leader in this church, sir. Do you have maybe a bit, one or two words for our Baba that are still in service? Uh, Thank God. Our Baba that are still in service, God is using them, and God will going to use them. <laughs> <laughs> and any word for the government, the uh, present uh, uh, government of the country? Yes. I want this present government to rule us with the fear of God. Mm. Mm. They should not be parochial. Mm. Mm. They should make sure they provide solution to insecurity in the country. In the, country. the killings are too much. Too the, the killings are too many. Really many, Baba. And it should not continue. Mm. It is their responsibility mm. to make sure that there is peace in the land. In the land, yes. Mm. They should make sure that there is peace in the land. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Baba. Thank you so very much, Baba. We appreciate your coming and when we appreciate your confidence and uh, all that the Lord has done through you. Uh, talking about this current administration, Baba, everybody is talking about PVC now. Baba, do you see how strength to vote? My sir? Yes, sir. Ah. When I still fast, <laughs> I still vote. So you have your PVC? I have my PVC. Are you going to PVC? vote? I will vote you. <laughs> I will vote you. Is under must we must it's our it's our right civic right civic right oh, yes over we have to do it mm -hmm. it's not enough for us to pray mm -hmm. we must pray and at the same time do the need for need for and you and you also you must vote yes over I have a PVC <laughs> I have a PVC over thank you so very much sir I'm taking from that now we're bringing that back to the church uh, I'm sure you will agree with me that there is a lot of election politics and all of that that go in or go on in the church. And our current primary now is theme for the decade is the decade of the reign of God. Baba, can you throw a little light for us when we talk about the reign of God? What it really means, especially in a time like this. What does it mean? So how should we 
in this age, still in active service, embrace it. The theme of our planet, decade of reign of God, mm. is out and timely. Especially now that people are not serving God. Mm. They don't love God. Mm. They love money. Mm. They are selfish. Mm. But we should allow God to reign in our hearts. We should allow God to reign in our homes, mm. in our parishes, in our identities, in our dioceses in our promises and in the church of nigeria as a whole god must reign mm -hmm. in our heart in our own and wherever we are mm -hmm. in. and we must do the will of god of god and the bible says whatever so ever you do do us unto the lord mm -hmm. And we should make sure that whatever we do, mm. we should do as unto the Lord. Lord. Yeah. And if God is not reigning in our life, in our lives, mm. it will be difficult for us to do anything as unto the, to the Lord. Lord. Mm. Mm. Taking a clue from what you said, Baba, like the decade of the reign of God, there are a lot of failures we see in our society these days now. Family failure, many people are going for divorce, even not minding that many years they've been married together. Young ones can't even pick their homes together. They get married, and in a few months, a few years, they say they want to divorce. Uh, ir irresponsible children up and there. And many people are beginning to say it is it, this are caused because of the failure of the church. But what will you agree, sir? I will not agree. Mm -hmm. Because the church, the church is doing its best. Mm. Especially when I was at Umara. Mm. We did our best to preach, to teach, to pray, mm. to follow up. At the end of the day, not everybody. Mm accepted the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot force, you cannot force anybody. Anybody, yes, my Lord. That is why. Mm -hmm. Number two, if you look at the churches today, or the church today, there's what we call disunity mm -hmm. among our leaders. Because of one greed, selfishness, mm. and pride. Mm. Mm. And where there is greed, it will be difficult for people to serve them. So it's not the failure of the church. It's not the failure of the church. It's the failure of every individual. <laughs> because of our greed and our selfish gain that we want to pursue. So I put my own personal desire ahead yes. of, mm, the word of the word of God. And that's really a thing. And Baba, talking about the word of God that you just mentioned, sir. People seem not to be interested in reading the word of God again. They prefer to take the word of the pastor over the word of God. But what has happened? It all depends on the, on the leaders. Mm. We must be careful what we teach our members. Mm. Christ is the owner of the church. We are not the owner of the church. Mm. Some pastors mm. are teaching their members to be like them. Mm. To honor them more than any other thing. Mm. Jesus Christ, the head of the church, they should be like Jesus. Yes. They should behave like Jesus. Yes. And they should do everything like Jesus. 
and the, where the word of God is being preached, that is undiluted word of God. Undiluted word of God is very, very important. important. Mm -hmm. Where you have undiluted word of God, you cannot see what you are saying. Yes, that's true, my love. That's true, my love. What has taken the word of God out of our hearts, Baba? Great. Selfish so, name. <laughs> Thank you so much, Baba. Um, I'm actually blessed listening to you today. Very, really, really blessed. You know, some of the responses you gave actually opened up my mind on some of the issues. Anglican Church that we face. I will pray that the Lord will continue to give you good help in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, as we, uh, let me ask Baba, as it is right now in the Dazzle of Umara, one of your sons is not the bishop there. <laughs> Are you in touch with him? Oh, yes. We talk nearly every day. Oh, wow. Has he called you today? Yeah, you know, I've, called, I've not called him and he has not called me. Okay. But before the day ends, he will call. He will call. Oh, wow. We are together and he do the work. Everything we left there, mm. the Bible study is doing it. Mm. The prayer meeting, doing it. All the program, even added more. Wow. And that is why the dance is moving forward. A very good because, uh, right. because right people, a right person has been placed. Yes. So, and yes. that's the job. That's the job. That's the job. That's the job. So it gladdens your heart. It gladdens my heart. It gladdens my heart. I'm happy. I'm happy. Daily. Able because to go there, I'm happy. Mm. Because he's working. Mm. Mm. So Banker is working. Mm. He's wow. doing the way of God. Oh God uh, he, see, he, he continue the, you know, the service. He has continuity. He has yes. continuity. Mm. He has continuity in the administration, in the administration, in the spiritual aspect, mm -hmm. even in the finance. Mm -hmm. We we'll praise God, sir. Really happy. We we'll see him well, all the time on our TV station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you can see. Oh, yes, he's yes, actually yeah. the ACM and uh, he continues to read. Yeah. So he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Thank you so much, Baba. Thank you very, very much. We are very grateful, sir. And finally, Baba, can you give us a parting word? What advice will you have for all of us? The, the bishop, the priest, the lay clergy, the lady, the nation, the political arena. What advice do you have for us, Baba? As the body of Christ, our focus should be there. Colossians mm. mm. chapter 3 says, we should look at the things in heaven. Mm. And make sure we do things that are in heaven mm. and not things that are on earth. Mm. So our focus should be on Christ. Christ. Mm. The hope of glory. Mm. If our focus is on Christ, all this materialism, mm. we will not yes. be involved in it. Mm. All this embezzlement mm. we will not be involved in it. Mm. Our focus should be Christ. Mm. Christ. Mm. Christ. Can I make it? How can I cannot make it? How can I cannot get to heaven? Mm. It's very important. Very, very, very important. Thank you so much, Baba. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. We are so grateful to have you on this our program where make a sense. And from your story and from your life, we have learned a lot. Baba, thank you so very much. Sir. Thank God. And as we travel back, please, our very best wishes to Mama. Thank you very much. And hello. Give her your message. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as, he, as she's taking care of you, we can see your youthfulness and your vibrancy. So God is doing it. <laughs> True. Ah. Yes, <laughs> and the strength is still there. Yeah, you don't look so much, Mama. <laughs> thank you so very much. Thank we wish you say three verses. Thank you. Back. God bless you. Viewers, thank you so much for your time, for being part of this program, Reminiscence. A program of the ACNN TV where we celebrate the life, the time, and the works of legends of this Anglican Communal Church of Nigeria. And uh, we've just interviewed our Baba, deep and exclusive interview for that matter. Our Baba, Right Reverend Philip Adeyemo, retired, who has given us so much award today and given us light into his life. And we thank you so much for finding time to be part of this program. And we do hope and believe that you've benefited a lot at the same time. 
Please bear with us next time to be part of this program. And we pray that the Lord will keep you safe. Bless and increase also on every side. I remain your host for today. Thank you for your time. God bless you. Have a glorious morning.